So I'm getting questions about my solar system all the time and people ask me why do you only have two panels you know how can you get away with only having two panels so so these are my LG405s I have two of them in series and so design capacity is 810 watts right now today is a day it's a pretty gloomy day it's January 1st 2023 and uh, the output of these panels right now is nothing. Okay, so I have two panels and the output is 20 watts right now and I call that nothing. So if I had four panels, two times nothing is still nothing in my book. So it doesn't help me. Having more panels in Ohio doesn't help me. When the sun is shining, I'm charging like crazy and that's why it's called opportunity charge. So when you have the opportunity, you gotta charge and you got to store the energy. So the stored energy right now I have 5.1 kilowatt hours of capacity and if I upgrade anything it's going to be that capacity not adding more panels. Uh, these panels on the full sun put out 1100 watts plus and I got to grab that 1100 watts and I got to store it somewhere so a second battery would be the next logical thing for me, not, not, not uh, more solar panels. So here's my solar system. You can see I'm using Victron premium components, inverter and charge controller. And uh, my design capacity is 5.1 kilowatt hours of storage. Those are uh, trophy batteries, lithium iron phosphate. And this is a server rack battery. It has internal heaters built in. And it's a very, very good battery. The solar system is designed to charge the entire battery within a six hour period. I'm 41 degrees north of the equator here in Ohio, United States. And as you can see at the bottom here, within a six hour sunlight period, I can completely recharge my system. And that's what the design capacity was meant to be. So opportunity charge happens when you have the opportunity and you got to store the energy when you can, and then you use it up. Uh, you can look at the history of my last maybe 20 days and if you look at the solar output it's nothing it, it's not really what you generate it's really what you can store and this design capacity even though it's only 810 watts I've had these panels put out more than 1150 watts on the full sun in in colder temperatures and that energy needs to be stored so five kilowatt hours within five or six hours of full sunlight behind me, if there was sun, I would be able to generate about six hours of full sun. So that will get my five kilowatt hour system back up from zero to a hundred percent. So this is how my system is designed. It works very well. And uh, the upgrade, if I had to do an upgrade, would be a second battery from five kilowatt hours to 10 kilowatt hours, right? And then at that point, I may consider putting a third or may even fourth panel on here. But you know, right now I, I just don't need it because I'm not using that much energy anyway. So I'm running my mini split once in a while just for, you know, heating the cabin to take the, uh, the chill out of it. But I'm heating with my wood stove and uh, I'm running lights. I don't have a refrigerator running right now because my fridge is usually in my Jeep. And the only other thing that's using energy would be my TV, my outside lights that I'm turning on when I'm hunting or whenever it's dark outside, really the outside lights are on. And that's it, it's, it's perfect. For me, it's really perfect. This cabin is very energy efficient. I can run all the power, I can charge all my devices. Refrigeration is taking care of my Jeep and uh, my solar panels, my two solar panels are perfectly sufficient for the energy needs and my five kilowatt hours of capacity is perfect. I like simplicity, I like minimalistic approaches and um, that's it. All right, see you guys on the next one.